Okay, just wanted to make this video to showcase a new free-to-play game called Black Prophecy. Um, it's on general release now in Europe, uh, and it's in closed beta on, uh, over in the States. Um, this video is just going to show a bit of the PvP action that you can get in, uh, in this game. So I'm just going to jump now to a PvE zone where there's players. Um, general incentives for this zone are you get missions to go there and kill some players um, or enemies. So, well, alternatively you just go there if you want to shoot people, which is what I'm doing now. Um, this screen here is the sector overview. It lets you know who or what is in the system with you. Um, a player base at the moment is pretty low, I'm guessing it's because people don't really know about this game. It's a lot like Freelancer. So there appears to be absolutely no player in this, or no enemy player in the system. Let's try the next one over. I mean, it's a new game, so there are some bugs, like it does take a little bit of time before you actually jump out. There's some random frame rate issues sometimes and lag issues, but obviously I'm assuming that will get sorted. Another reason for this video is, as I said before, just to raise a bit of awareness about the game, seeing as there is a massive lack of. Uh, there's just not many people playing it, to be honest. Here we've got another system which is just friendlies. Jump to the third one. The uh, the combat is actually a lot of fun, um, and there's several different types of PvP. There's this open world one. There is instance based PvP, which has an objective like kill the other team and destroy a battleship or something like that. And um, there's something to do with clans and clan stations, but I don't really know much about that yet. That's something I'll probably should be later on. Ah, here we are, there's lots of enemies here. So, I'm just going to pick one out of the overview. That's not the only way to target. You can target by pressing T, which will cycle. But generally, when there's a lot of stuff going on and you're sitting out of range of combat, uh, it's quite nice to be able to pick a target out like that. Let's close in on this guy now. Oh, close to target here. The, uh, target button T seems to be pretty good. It will generally try and target wherever your mouse is uh, hovering. Let's take this guy down. This is basically what the PvP is like. It's kind of a action shooter kind of thing. Um, it's a lot of fun. As I said, it reminds me a lot of Freelancer. That's some of the best PvP in it ever, especially considering the age of the game. I love the people flying straight lines. It's uh, really challenging to try and hit them. Should target this guy. Um, there's lots of different setups you can go, heavy ships, light ships, I've got a really light ship at the moment. doesn't have a shield on it because that weighs a lot. Um, I'm all about maneuverability and speed with this thing. Uh, you can make some really heavy ships that pack one hell of a punch. Uh, I have been one-shotted by some of those higher levels flying heavy ships quite a few times. It's really annoying, but... You know, they have they can't move for shit. I can run away if I need to. Not that you get the chance to when you get one shot. Uh, just kind of sat there. But yeah, this is one of the aspects of PvP in this game: the open world in a mission zone PvP. Um, just gonna keep fighting here till I die, just to give people a bit more of a. Uh, 
argument to it. There's various items you can get to help you in PvP. There's some things that you can pop that repair holes. Uh, repair drones, rather. But they have to cool down so you don't just spam them. And they cost quite a bit. Well, they cost quite a bit of my level, I imagine. Tougher zones, killing tougher enemies, or tougher NPCs, you get a lot more money. What I'm doing there is a boost uh, technique. User joined your channel. Various tactics uh, you can utilize in combat. Um, stuff like U turns, like that. We have the. Uh, if you're tired, you get the side forward dash thing. No idea what the hell that is, but it's really effective sometimes. Especially if you're going head to head with people, you just need to slide to the right or left, uh, get some free shots while avoiding theirs. Oh, someone really doesn't like me here. Um, that's another thing. This game doesn't suffer from elite syndrome. If you hit an object, you will impact it. It doesn't do any damage, but the impacts are rather. Uh, uh, they make a satisfying flanking sound the sky here. It's a good thing about these heavy ships, you can sit behind them really easily if you're packing the light. Oh, that wasn't good. A lot of people just employ this little stop and shoot tactics, really annoying to fight against. Um, User joined your channel. User joined your channel. So that's the end of that guy. I'm pretty low on armor, so I might die in a minute. Just see how many kills I can get off before I actually die. Those uh, plasma jets that come out of that guy's ship are really dangerous at close range. There's a lot of weapon types as well, from sniping guns to sit far out, take pot shots to missiles, and even a grenade launcher. This guy has a lot of armor. This is going to be quite interesting. Um, the guns I have in this ship don't do too much damage, but they don't weigh very much as well, uh, which goes with the ability for trying to get the ship. Right, I uh, hope you enjoyed that video. I'll try and put out more as I go along. I'll try and showcase some of the PvE elements and other stuff. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to start spreading the word on this game because I think it's an amazing game and it's got a lot of potential. Um, so it's a lot of fun to play. Alright, well, thanks for watching.